of politicians, you've seen grandfathers, fathers, aunts, and now an uncle. How do you view Imran, the latest politician? Is he in your eyes Im the Dim, or is he Im the Savior? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that, Karan, in, in three ways, and I think it goes back to what Aisha is saying, which is that it's, politics has become about personality, and it's not become about any mobilization, or in fact any ideas. And so, three things. Number one, is Imran different? Uh, he has made it very clear over the last several years that he has an incredible coziness with not the military but with dictatorship. So Imran uh, Khan received a national medal from General Ziaul Haq. He credits him with launching him back into cricket when he went to go and win the World Cup. He has, in all his years in politics, defended the legacies of General Zia, whether that's the blasphemy law or the Hudud ordinances, resolutely, actually. Um, he proposed, he's defended Musharraf and supported his referendum in 2002. And the PTI said as, uh, as recently as 2010, after the floods um, that hit Pakistan, devastating the country, the PTI said that they would support military takeover of the country to ensure stability. Okay, one. Number two, as a woman, I worry very much about Imran's politics. I worry very much that this is a person who voted against the Women's Bill in 2006. And for those who don't know, um, actually, do you all know about the Hudud Ordinances? Yeah. No? Yes. Okay, well, the Hudud Ordinances are federal law in Pakistan. Uh, they apply to the length and breadth of the country. They apply to anybody in the country. And what they say is that if a woman is found guilty of committing the crime of adultery or engages in premarital sex, then she can be put to death. So what this does is it criminalizes the victims of rape. So if you've been raped and you are married, then you've just committed adultery. And in 2006, um, they put forward an amendment. Now, the law should be scrapped, but it wasn't scrapped. An amendment was put forward striking down one part of this law. And that part said that if a woman wants to prove rape rather than adultery, then she must present four Muslim male witnesses at the exact moment of rape. And these, these witnesses, by the way, you've never met one of them in your life. You know, they, they've never lied, they've never stolen, they wake up early, they, they everything, yeah. And, and Imran Khan voted against this amendment, not for it. I've, I haven't heard this mentioned in any of the sort of glowing, excited... Um, articles about him. And, and the third point is, is, is he going to strive towards a vision of Pakistan that is secular and that is inclusive of its minorities, or is he not? And it looks to me like not. In 2009, he supported the Tariq Taliban Pakistan's bid to impose Sharia law in the Swat Valley. Um, he supported the MMA's candidate for the presidency. Um, and the MMA was the party that was, you know, covering up women's faces on billboards in Peshawar and, and it was extreme in their orthodoxy. Is he a savior? No, I don't think so. Right, well that's the end of Imran Khan. <laughs>